Your face talks about your body. If your body is not healthy, that will create a negative impact. Your body will react in a negative way and will create toxins and release toxins to the face. So it is very important to keep our face clean, to keep our face healthy. So my friends, let me start with the session. Today's session is about facial yoga. So my main focus today is on acne pigmentation. How to cure or how to reduce the acne pigmentation. Okay, so let's not waste much time. Please don't skip the video. Watch till the end because there is an interesting task for you all viewers which you have to do at the end of the session. Okay, so let's start. Now, the face yoga concept is a Japanese concept which is started from the Japanese technique which means to wake up all the sleeping muscles on your face. So it is just a stretching for your face which will really wake up your sleeping muscles. So how to do this? To practice face yoga, first of all you should make sure that your hands are clean and your face is clean. You can wash your face once and you have to keep your hands clean. I will be showing you the four facial asanas which is very effective. Okay. So before that, you can use two drops of oil. What you can do, you can uh, take a container, add two drops of oil to one to two tablespoons of water. Okay, You can use your purified water and with oil, you can use uh, coconut oil, almond oil, any hair oil which you have. It, it will be beneficial if you use natural coconut oil or natural almond oil Okay, instead of the packaged one. But if you don't have it, it's okay. You can use the packaged one also. So make sure that you apply it on your face. When you apply on your face, you will feel a cooling effect. So I'm doing this without applying, but I'm just telling you, you can use the mixture and apply all over your face. Okay, how to apply it? So if you just mix your oil and water, dip the finger in a mixture and just apply it gently, tap around your face so you can just tap in circles you can go like this massage okay give a gentle massage okay from the forehead you can go up to your neck and similarly coming up reverse upward so from the neck to the forehead okay so like this you have to do three times okay up and down down to top okay so this you have to do three times always remember face yoga should be practiced thrice okay this was a refreshing technique facial refreshing massage the next we will do the kapal dhoti kriya when you say kapal dhoti kriya it means kriya is nothing but the cleansing technique where you, most of the toxins are removed from your face so Kapal is nothing but your face. Dhauti Kriya means a cleansing technique. So how to practice this? So you can practice it with water. I'll take one glass of water. So before using water, I will just uh, show you how to practice without water. Okay. So what you have to do is just inhale. And now with the thumb, you have to close your, you have to you keep your mouth closed and you have to close your nose, fill air in your cheeks inside your cheeks and now you have to go down okay keep your air here in the cheeks and go down and hold for 10 counts 10 seconds And again inhale and relax you have to hold your breath for 10 seconds 10 to 15 seconds is fine as per your capacity now you can practice this with the water so you can have a sip of water
so this keeps your skin hydrated face will be hydrated now the next one second one is the balloon pose so even in balloon pose you can use it with water so i am practicing this without water i'll show you how to practice the balloon pose will be like this so it's just moving air from right to left left to right so it's just moving your air between the cheeks okay and relax so now this practice actually gives you a mobility okay so it actually is an exercise for your mouth and when you practice this you have to practice it 30 times thrice so now i have done only once okay but you can practice it more two times now let's do with the water so now you can have a sip of water you can either do it without water or with water i will show you both so with water once you are done you just have to drink it that's it okay so when you uh, do this water poses with water you feel more hydrated and obviously that will give you good cooling effect now the third pose is smile and pout so how to do this it's just you're stretching your cheeks and making a pout continue relax so this usually helps to reduce acne pigmentation and also it's good for your facial fat reduction it reduces your facial fat and the last one let's do the last facial glow which is actually a common practice for facial yoga where in your entire face will glow this also helps to reduce your acne pigmentation so how to do this is that you are just rubbing your cheeks so your last three fingers in front first two fingers behind your ear and you're rubbing why you rub this because here these are the lymphatic nodes which are getting massaged lymphatic nodes when these nodes get activated it activates your facial nerves and that's how your face will glow so let's start you can practice this 30 times and relax once you're done relax you can do this more twice okay now just relax roll your shoulders back inhale exhale and let me tell you the overall benefits of facial yoga is that you will get a clear skin without any acne pig pigmentation pimples second one is you will have a facial glow so your face will glow third one is reduces fat your facial fat will be reduced because it gives you a exercise stretching for your facial muscles the fourth one is it keeps your face hydrated and the last one is it keeps you active throughout the day you don't feel sleepy when you practice facial yoga okay so time for the interesting task for all the viewers here who is watching my video frame the sentence beauty to me is dash let me answer this first beauty to me is to be comfortable in yourself please do answer in the comments below and please like share subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed okay and hit the bell icon for more such videos thank you